All right, everybody. Welcome back to JFace Games. What are we talking about today? We are talking about RPGs because we're building an RPG. We're building an RPG. If you're new to this channel, we're building an RPG, and at the same time, we are well. First, in order to build it, we're getting inspired, and so we're looking at RPGs that influence me and board games that influence me, and we're going through and just kind of looking at their mechanics and seeing which ones we like so that we can cherry pick them, or we can be influenced by them, because um, I think there's a lot of inspiring games out there. So today we're looking at a little little RPG called Knave. Um, Knave is it's pretty tiny, for those that are unaware of it. I think it's only like a, I don't know, uh, less than 10 page PDF, most likely. Um, but it does some cool stuff, it does some really cool stuff. And, and so today we're gonna to talk about the features that I really like. This will probably be a short one, but uh, we'll talk about it. First thing I really like is I like their ability scores. All right, what do I mean by that? So they've shifted the purpose of your uh, standard D&D ability scores, meaning that standard D&D &D ability scores, strength, Dex, Con, Wisdom, Intelligence, Charisma. The problem with those is that sometimes some of those can be complete dump stats and others of them can be kind of God stats. I think that 5e Dex can be a little potent. Dex and Charisma in particular can be super powerful. Um, and so what this system did was they changed some of the uh, abilities to do a little different stuff. Meaning that for an example, Dexterity, yes, Dex is still your, um, I think it's still your A, can be your AC or your ability to dodge or your nimbleness. Let me let me pull it up before I say anything terrible. Um, I have the PDF right here, so I don't want to do it justice. So, for instance, should be on page one. Um, this is YouTube quality. This is YouTube video quality at its finest. I mean, look at this, we're killing it. Nice long pauses of silence, you love it. Um, so for instance, Dex is used for saves requiring poison speed, uh, dodging, climbing, sneaking, balancing still, but wisdom uses your ranged attacks and save requiring perception and intuition. So now ranged attacks is down attached to wisdom. That's that's huge, that makes a big difference. And I think some of the other ones have a little bit of play to them as well. So it's an interesting, I like that. I like that it kind of switched things up a little bit. Um, what else do we got? We've got, um, let's tag this under here so that it kind of collapses in. The other thing we have is item slots. Amazing. What is this? So, if you haven't seen it yet, in essence, in this game, there is a, on your character sheet, there is a massive grid that takes up half of it, right? So you've got your character stats here and what your character is, and then on the other side, you've got this massive just grid. It's, it's, it's massive. Um, and I forget how many slots it is in particular, but I think it's like, I don't know, like, probably like six across, 15 down or something, something along the sides. Well, the idea is that this is your actual load that you can carry. So instead of encumbrance and having to calculate weight of items, you know, it's like slotting items. So if you have a pole arm, that pole arm is three squares. If you have a spell book, that's one square. And depending on your strength is how many squares you have available. This is awesome. It's like a little mini game unto itself. And what's really crazy in this system is that for spellcasters, we'll, we'll even, let me put this in real quick. Unique spell system where one, it's levelless, meaning that a lot of the spells have a lot of sort of RP flavor to them. And so it doesn't matter what level you are. Um, what's an example of that? An example of that might be, uh, deafened. All nearby creatures are deafened. You know, that doesn't matter what level you are, it doesn't matter, you know, because it, it has the same potency at every level. Um, what's another one? Is there a damage one? 
Let me see if I can find a damage one of some sort. Like they have one that's called push, that's a spell. One that's called pull, that's a spell. Um, one that is called, uh, I don't see a damage one off the top of my head. Anyways, it's levelless. So there are just, here's the spells. Icy, icy touch, here's one. A thick icy layer spreads across a touch surface. Oh, that's, that's not damage. Electricity, there you go. Uh, your body can stretch up to L feet. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any actual specific damage. It's all more thematic. Um, I'm sure there's a damage one in there, but a lot of it's all thematically, you know, situated. So it's, it's really cool. And so, however, in this system, what they did was that every um, spell book only had one spell in it. So if you wanted to have, you know, if you're a caster and you want like eight spells, that means you have to have eight of these books and so eight books takes up eight slots. And so I thought that was really interesting. There's another person who was building their own RPG that I saw on YouTube. I, I wish I could link him. And he was basing it off of Nave primarily. And the idea he had was that he created these thematic books that would have three spells in them. And so now it was, he, that's how he kind of did magic, you know, in a certain way. He did a lot more to the magic system, obviously, but I thought that was cool. I thought that was not a good idea to kind of have these three thematic spells that are linked into one book and that book then took up a slot. But, so that's Nave. Nave is, it does a lot of cool stuff. It's a quick game to get into. Um, it does a lot of simple things in terms of items and there's some really great charts for your traits. Like you can roll charts for your physique and face and skin and hair and virtue and dice. And so you can quickly kind of roll up a character with an RP. But what I really liked about it with these three things in terms of the ability scores, it's your standard ability scores you're probably used to, but just a little twist. Um, the item slots is crazy. And then I like the idea of levelless spells, spells that are just, they're always gonna be important, you know, no, no matter when you get them, and they're always useful. Whereas I think sometimes spell systems, you know, once you start getting up in level, Yes, it's nice that more modern systems have made it so that you can heighten a spell. You can cast a spell that's a first level spell in a sixth level spell slot, and now it's, you know, tons more powerful. But there's a lot of spells you're just not going to use anymore, right? You know, it's they have to, they, they make it work by having your cantrips, for instance, scale. They get more damage every couple levels. Um, which is cool, you know, it works. It definitely works, but I like the idea of a levelless spell that if you hear that spell, you it's gonna work no matter what. Now, that's Nave. Nave is cool, I like it. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you should check it out. Um, the designer is, oh, I shouldn't have said that because now I have to find it. Um, I don't know who the designer is. It's called Nave, K-N-A-V-E. Um, designer, don't know, can't find it. Anyways. Great system, um, hit subscribe, hit the bell, comment. Let's talk about these things. Um, let's talk about this system as we continue to build it and you'll see another video soon. Take it easy guys.